Let's move on and take a look at some of the other things Audacity can do. So I'm going to open it up. It's on my desktop, so we'll double click Audacity. And thanks to Doug, who in the when I posted the last video on my blog, uh, said there's also a couple of other things that may be at fault if you're recording that are nothing to do with Audacity and it's all to do with your own audio settings. If you go to your little microphone, right click, adjust audio settings. Let me just check that's what it's called. No, adjust audio properties. The first thing you might find is that your default voice recording device is not set to the right thing. That's one of the things. The other thing is you might need mic boost. Now I can't show you how to do that on here because it's not relevant to my particular uh, device. So I shall put the link that shows you what that is on the blog post and you can uh, have a play around if you're still having problems recording yourself. Now meanwhile let's open up that test project we did. So let's go to file open. There it is, test 2. If you don't find it immediately just do a search around your documents to find the right place and we'll open that up. Um, now most people who are going to be using Audacity are looking to record their own voice maybe for a podcast or for an information product they want to create for people and so they're just going to be recording their voice as I did here and perhaps reading something or talking about something off the cuff and as I showed you before to record you simply press the record button and when you're finished you press stop if you want to cough or have a drink and you just need to pause it then just press the pause button very simple to use it's just like uh, most audio equipment in the way that you will use that particular aspect of it. Um, but what do you do when you've got the final recording and there are bits in it you want to cut out, maybe you made a mistake, maybe somebody in your house, that one of the kids came running in screaming for mum and or the phone rang and you just want to cut that bit out. Well there are various uh, things you can do with the Audacity program that are very simple to do. The first thing, if we take a look at this button here, that's the cut button. And what you can do is if you left click, sorry I should point this out, left click, hold it down and pull the mouse across something. So that was where I was particularly noisy, uh, particularly loud on that bit. So say I wanted to cut that out, I can just highlight it by left clicking and dragging and then I just click on the cut button and it's gone. What if you did it by accident you ask? Well all you do is go up to here and that's the undo button. You undo it and it appears again. You, The one next to it is redo. You redo it and it's gone again. So um, that's a very useful tool to have just to cut out things that you don't like there. If you accidentally put something in a place that that you didn't want it to be. So say you were talking and you suddenly realised that a chunk of your audio would sound better in a different part of it. Then go to this next one which is the copy button. Click copy and then you can cut it and then say oh well I actually preferred it over here. Just click where you preferred it and go to here which is the paste button and click paste. Now another method of cutting is simply to highlight the bit you didn't want, again left click, pull it across and highlight the bit you didn't want and instead of clicking the cut you just click your delete button, or your delete key on your keyboard and it will disappear. Those are some very simple things. As I showed you before, if you want to zoom in on a, on a piece, I can't. if I play this to you now I can hear it but you can't because you're hearing my microphone instead of Audacity. Uh, it's been set up so that it picks up my voice to do this tutorial. But if you were playing it back, you click play. Now I could hear that so it's off-putting, but you could see when, when it was playing that it was playing up here as well. You could see it registering up here. So you can listen to it and if you suddenly hear a bit that you don't like then go to click near where you think it is and you can zoom in and you can say that that little notch there uh, 
I just clicked my space bar to play that just that section in fact if I press play now because it's highlighted it will play just the section that's highlighted and um, say that was a funny noise that you wanted to get rid of and you just zoom in make sure that it's just that section by pressing play again yep that's just the bit I want to get rid of and either click the delete button on your keyboard or click cut and that will cut it out and then you can zoom back out again to hear or see all your audio and to play it again to yourself and click stop sorry what you're not seeing is every time this is just a habit I've got into because this is the same with cool edit which is the program I use for recording and editing usually and uh, the space bar is very handy just for clicking click the space bar and it will click play as well so that's a very useful thing to have uh, what else can I show you on this one so we've done that oh if you if you have a bit that you think I'd just like to silence that out well left click highlight the bit you want to silence go to here and this button here will silence the section that you've just highlighted so click on that. Now I don't recommend you use the silence button a lot simply because it goes so quiet it sounds a bit unnatural in audio but it can come in useful at times so I've, if I don't like that, if I think it sounds too, too strange then I'll just have a listen. It does sound a bit strange so I'm just going to undo that and it's back again and what I'm actually going to do instead is instead of silencing it I'm going to cut it. So those are some of the simple things you can do with Audacity uh, that make it very useful for when you're recording and editing your own audio and now we'll just go and save that new version let's export it as an mp3 uh, you, might either, you can either keep your test too so that you've got a master copy before any changes were made which I always recommend it's best to actually keep the master copy in case you ever want to go back if you make a mistake editing you know if there are ever any problems it's always useful to be able to go back to the original and start again so let's save it as test 3 click save and it exports it as an mp3 and if you just want to close that particular file down but you're probably going to record something else so you're going to leave the whole program open you just click on that little cross there and the file is closed and you can go ahead and record something else